Harlan, Madison Four. Kate Kendig, and the math instructors are Gilbert Rush and Lacey yep, Holloway. will play next Saturday, November 18th against the winner of the Canton Gallery Lebo game. The Axtell Eagles are coached by Eric Detweiler, assisted by Dale Busing, Craig Weeby, and Quinn Busing. The next starting lineup, number 10, 185-pound sophomore, Eli Broxman. Number 11, a 165-pound senior, Evan Busing. Number 12, 180 pound senior Isaac Detweiler. Number 16, 180 pound sophomore Brandon Schmelzy. Number 18, 215 pound senior Owen Strothman. Number 34, 175 pound junior Grady Busing. Number 54, 220-pound junior, Grant Busing. And number 88, 265-pound junior, We are just to get underway. Better leaders. The Bulldogs are coached by Steve Tiernan, assisted by David Strait and Anthony Blair. The next captains are Eagles Mac Barnes, Doug Guttery, Connor Schur, and Dylan We're just about ready to get underway. I'm going to apologize now. Back in one of my previous stops, I had them still until they said it. And they were the wild the cats. The Bulldogs cheer team was the time of the senior Calicazer, senior Trinity Luder, junior Gracie Reiner, sophomore Cassie Cager, freshman Levy Reiner, freshman Deanna Luzer, freshman Ashton, so from my left to my right will be Osborne. So the right to the left. Junior Liv Rothenberger, freshman Deanna the Luder. They are coached by Hillary Nick. They'll line it up at the 30 yard line. Referees last instructions to each other and we are just about ready to get underway. Quarterfinal round, Thunder Ridge in the playoffs. Still, 
a white will be scoring off in about an hour on Katie Country 94. Jason Bradford here from Osborne. Uh, like I said, weather, you know, at this time of season in uh, playoff time. Kick is underway, and the low line drive kick will be taken on a bounce. At about the six, Bulldogs will flip the reverse and go right up the middle. There's a seam there. And top 25, 26, up to the 28-yard line are the Osborne Bulldogs. I'm sure. Starts in this one for the Bulldogs. How do you get an upset here? Well, you got to win. Special teams, and you got to win in the turnovers. For the Bulldogs, on the to they had a nice couple of six to eight play Three drives round. that helped shorten the game against Jared. Yeah. Double tights, shotgun formation back on each side of the quarterback. Quarterback keeper right up the middle. That's made Good. a good game. Good. Bulldogs and Guttery to start things up. Right side. Good start. Nearing the midfield. Uh, second Weird. and okay, call it back about one. Five yards piece. Mark him all the way up. So about the third. What do you got, line. coach? Coach. Okay. Same formation ball on the right hash mark. One middle lineman, two standing ends for the Eagles defensively. They look to bring Coming pressure blitz. on their right side. Now we'll back off. Same play, just to go left side, and that's going to be bottled up, but not before the first down. gets across the 38 to the 39. That should be enough for the first hit. Lincoln to stand. What? Lincoln to stand. Tell Lincoln to stand. Getting out to a good start here for the Bulldogs. Lincoln to stand block there. Right necessarily have to score for first. Bulldogs so they're going to lead at the end of one quarter, but if you're the Bulldogs, you want to at least oh, let the Eagles like know that you're here. 33. One receiver to the right, wing back to the left, in motion across the formation. Got her in the shotgun. Third straight carry up the middle for this this time. Nowhere to go. Might have got forward progress to the midfield strike. We'll give him that. We'll bring up second down and long. Yeah, so middle of that Eagle defense. Two Here's second down and long. Bulldogs will need to be good on first down so they can be good on third and fourth down. Puck running 10 10 here in quarter number one. Okay. Ball just a little bit to the right, or it'd be almost in Different the quarterback middle of the field. Quarterback. Double tight, double, or excuse me, double wing. Got to be by himself. He'll go up the middle, not much there, and he's going to get pushed back after maybe another yard. So here's the first third and long of the football game. Peters, 265 pounds. Control that messing in the middle one more time. So what do the Bulldogs come up with on third and long? Every time, quarterback run, you get that extra blocker with the design quarterback run. Ball just off to the right side a little bit here on third and long. Too tight, straight eye behind Guttery's under center. They'll toss to the left, Good and can Osborne get anything. outside? They will. Nice yeah. seal. Good time. And the Bulldogs in. He did a terrible one with the first day. Pretty nice. Uh, see if we can't get him coming. Yeah, kicking him out. Walk down. I'm sure corner. with the block. Off to the land. It's a big game. Just for the Bulldog first down. I don't know. 27 yard line. So you didn't do it. Okay. 38 down to the 27, 11 in the first down. And 88 staying on the side. So the first side player besides Guttery to okay. touch the football. Gets the first down for the Bulldogs. Two receivers to the left, which is the short side of the field. Now motion towards the formation. A little pop pass to the right side, and that's going to be snuffed out and turned out for a that's what we want. That'll be how. Good job. Yeah, you got to Eli Brock's to the middle of the tackle. Double team. Does go down as a pass, but second down seven. A short one. Quarterbacks love that little play. What'd you call? 
Yeah. It's call? smarter to do that with the little pass. That way, if there's yeah. something wrong with the exchange, it's an incomplete instead of a fumble. Okay. Take them about three on those. I'm Second down and seven. They're coming, but ball on the right hash mark. Double tight eye formation. Give to the fullback and good second effort. To be sure near the 20 yard line. We'll call it the 21. Not sure up the middle. Plays. We're actually going to get three straight plays. Or something like Guttery has touched it. Third and three now. Good first drive for the Bulldogs. Eight minutes. We'll have to go in quarter number one. Four minutes off the clock. Third down and four. Starting about the year on 27. Six runs, there's play number eight. Let's see if we get a quarterback keeper out of this shotgun formation. Right up the middle, blocker on each side, it. but the... And the there. Nate didn't get his blocker. The end's crash there. He goes hold on third, and we'll see what happens here on fourth down. All your dudes and Eli drops to the leading panel. First real big play of the football game. Fourth down. Bulldogs have to be good inside the 15. And also two point conversions and it starts with these fourth down conversions. Ball right at the 20, a little bit right of center. He's playing tight, high formation. And a little play action roll. Guttery throws it out in the flat. It is going to be short of the first down. Like I say, incomplete. Wouldn't have mattered either way. Eagles were there defensively on the attended receiver that time, sure. But not a bad drive for the Bulldogs. <laughs> you want to get points, obviously. Pass on fourth down by the Bulldogs. Nine feet drive. Got to the Eagles take over. Now to the 20 yard line. 658. Let's go quarter number actually, one. Actually, um, now the guy that was covered six came up and helped there on first. tackle. So. Time. Isaac Detweiler, the quarterback. Line up in the shotgun. Two receivers tight to the left. One split out wide to the right. A little confusion looks like maybe for the Eagles, but they'll get set. It looks like they're okay. And that while they're in the gun. Option to the right. They'll pitch it out. And good seam up the right side. That's gonna be enough for a first down on play number one. You gotta fight off that block on the outside. Eli Braxton, enough for a eagle first down. It's enough for that first down off the right side. So, the crash did on quarterback Dipwell that time. Nathan Jolie with the man open on the option play. First down for the Eagles at the 30. First down, 40. Already close to halfway through quarter number one. On the right hash mark as the Eagles come from my right to left here in quarter number one. Two split out wide to the left, one to the right. One back with that Weiler. Little bubble screen. Block in the back uh, right here. Block. Yeah, it's gonna get block in the back right there. To the 38, 39 yard line. That's a thing to Evan Busey. Catch of about eight That's yards there. That Weiler complete with his first throw of the game. Don't have to throw a crippling block out there on the edge. Sometimes you just gotta get in the way. That's what that second receiver did on the bubble screen there. One on each side. Poor Detweiler, he's got a running back behind him. Second and short, Detweiler, straight drop back. Looks to his right, throws the out route, completed the 30, turned up to the 25, and that's first down for the Eagles. Receiver touching. through quarter number one, zero zero. Eagles turned away the Bulldogs in Eagle territory on possession number one. Eagles their first time with it. Now in Bulldog ter territory at about the 25. Detweiler by himself. Two receivers to each side, right next to the formation, however. And they go jet sweep. And left side ball pop. 
pops out, picked up by the Bulldogs. That's going to come the other way, 25-30. Yeah. Out of bounds. Yeah. So the Bulldogs get the first turnover yeah. in the football game. Let's go. No flag. Here we go. Let's go. Eight yard line. 526 left to go. Both teams have had it. Both teams have gotten into the end of territory. Anytime they come in slow motion, he's teams. just going to give it right there in that wildcat. That. One on downs, so one on the fumble. What'd you call? See what Bulldogs do on possession Eight, number two front. Two, two, two five. Two tights. Two eye formation. Ball on the right hash mark. Got to be under center. Gets to the fullback. He'll angle out to the left. Has some room. And that's the cross the 35 to the 39. That's a first down. Connor still with a 12 yard gain. Down to the 40. Back by Brandon Snelly. Second run of the game. Hold on, first down. No. Back to the three. Just off the left side there, but he found some room to the outside and was able to bounce it. Sometimes that fullback play doesn't just doesn't have enough room to bounce, but sure found it on that one. Ball it sits seems like, right at it midfield. Seems like it's taking us too that long. Mark here on first and to get to the line of scrimmage. Those DNs are crashing. Well, by himself, wing back on each side. Now motion sends two to the left. Right. Come back with the counter to the right. Good patient run by Gutter. He's going to get him outside and brought down yeah, across the 35. Right. Please. Took his time. Took his time. Blocks the ball over. And gain of. Rocks the man and dancing yep. with the tackle. You hear me? Second down and four. Hey, the they're That's probably going to go to two. Second down and four upcoming for the Bulldogs. Did you hear, did you hear me, Coach? No. Um, 54 just went out hurt. So they're in the two, two, Eagles two, five. The two down linemen set for the Eagles. They got everybody standing in the second level and one safety. Got a reef. Fakes the football and the read option will come out to the right. Go. Yes. Yes. And on the 17-yard line. Hey, great read. So Guttery, the main man so far, seven carries, 32 yards. Second time the Bulldogs have been down here. Oh, I'm the play they gave it back on downs. First down for the ball dog. First and ten. 18 yard line. That last time they didn't get a, two. a real short play on first. They're still in two front and they're, they're in the A gaps. So Guttery in the shotgun. One back beside him each side. Same play this time with the gear. Yeah, it's a short three. Three. Keep it going. Let's go. Sure. A short gain off the left. Oh, they're sure with the gear. Yeah. Brandon Smith, Mate, yeah, yeah, right he's right 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 with yeah, the yeah. Yeah. And come crashing in, so you take the ball out. Or in this case, it would have been an outside backer. But second down, seven on the fifteen. All the middle of the field. In between the hash marks, right at the fifteen-yard line, three twenty-five. Let's go, quarter number one. Two tight ends. Got to be in the shotgun with one back beside him. Right next, shoulder to shoulder, and good penetration by the Eagles this time. Stops that one for no gain. Connor Sure with the kick. Sure right up the middle one more time. Evan Houston with the tackle. Here's third and seven. Third down seven. Rick inside the 15. No score yet here in <laughs> quarter number one. Just the third possession of the football game. Bulldogs ran about five minutes off the clock. Got it to about this point. Turned it over on downs. Eagles got it into Bulldog territory. Popped it up with a fumble. And we stay scoreless. Direct snap to the back on the left side. He'll go to the right. Guttery lead blocker this time. Close to the first down, but a little shot. Howell with the carry. Eli Bronson with the saddle. Rushing attempt of the football game. Gets him four, but they need about six. But here's fourth and two. All the right hash mark. It's right at the 10. 28, let's go in a scoreless first quarter. Two solid drives here by the Bulldogs. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. run 15 plays from scrimmage in quarter number one. Tight end. Back Two tight ends. Two tight ends. I formation. They try the hard count movement, but then a bobbled snap. Gutter tries to lean forward, and I just don't think he had the momentum needed to get that sneak going. The hard snap got an eagle rocking a little bit, but he didn't move forward. And then the bobbled snap just didn't allow Guttery to get the momentum he needed to go forward. And fourth downs turned away. Second time. Stiffened inside the 20 yard line. So it sits at the 10. Right to left now for the Eagles. They'll send one each side. God damn it, left. get lined up. Bulldogs bring pressure. That while they will scramble to the right. He's in trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's up by the ball. Woo! It's at the two yard line. Let's go. Hey, we're on like the one. Second straight ball. Yes. 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 Five zero. Two fumbles by the Axel Eagles. <laughs> Kept us a scoreless game. Bulldogs have another play in Eagle territory. This is a first and goal. Oh, trying to get out to his right, but what he did, he rushed the ball against the defenders and lost it. Goheen came up with the recovery. Full back to the right side, and the Ferrari's He's not in, he's at the half yard line. The Eagles will turn him away. I'd I do, sure. I do it again. He got, he's, he got two in there. Or maybe two in there. 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 Second and goal from the one. Well, turnovers are the. Well, I was thinking the future lies for any football team. This is dead. Yeah. I have to hurry to be, um, this one away. Out of play. Out of, out of play. Out of play. Line up in the air. Starts at this should, this should be up there. Will Gutter get it away? Yeah, get it off. Just does. They'll try to pull back their left side. So the first points of the game go to the Osborne Bulldogs. They will try a two-point conversion coming up here. These start to become big plays at this level of football. Sometimes the biggest plays this. Let's go. in the game are the shortest ones. Tights, I formation, nine gutterings. They can fake it to sure. A little flip pass out to the right, but the Eagle defense turns it away. So at 119 to go in quarter number one. The Bulldogs got first. Six nothing lead over the Hunter. We need Hunter in there on that. One minute. Yeah. Point after touchdown. Pass complete to Dawson Lance. It is sticking down before the goal line. 119 in the first quarter. Austin six. Axel Eagle zero. Territory finally get the touchdown. 
Evil turnover inside the five. Good job. David Bulldogs, great field position. Brandon Schmelz will get the return of the kickoff. One yard touchdown run. Two point first and down two. So we stay at six. And Kickoff return. Yeah. Play Gunnery on the panel. With 1.13 left to go. Take over on the 30. One. That's the Eagles. Try their third possession. Second one lasted all of one play. They fumbled away on the quarterback slap. Two receivers to the right, which is the short side of the field. The ball sits on the right hash bar. Right to left here for the Eagles in quarter number one. Detweiler overlooks the defense. Bulldogs look like they're going to bring somebody. Option play to the right side and good block on the outside. It's going to get Eagles out. Have a good solid gain on first down. We'll call it five for Broxton. Broxton with the carry for a five yard gain. Inside the 35. Second down and five. Someone's had a couple nice runs. Before he's under, one up. Plays center. Bring some pressure to the right, one to the left. Same formation as last time. It's just the option play to the left. Option has some room, and we'll get across the field. Hey, they're blocking. See where he stepped up. They're blocking us in the back. Get Eleven enough. literally blocked well, that all the way to the play. In the back. Well, the with the tackle. So two Lock options Dawson is one to the back, one left to the play. Over the 40 yard line, good enough for an eagle first they down. They miss every single time. Just across it into Bulldog territory. Both plays went out of bounds, so we sit at one minute. Left to go in quarter number one. Just flip the formation now here to the near side of the field. Two to the left, one to the right. That one in shotgun, straight drop back. Throws it out to the right and yeah. just a little bit too I think we can play the intended receiver. Have him come, have Dave. Uh, David 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 so if Indink could have gotten there that time, but we were, he was just locked in. So on it looks like the Bulldogs are going to be in pressure quite often. They're going to be aggressive defensively. That's going to put the defensive backs on a little bit of an island at times. That time that Laura had time to throw. Just didn't connect. Two receivers to the right, one to the left on second down and 10. Straight drop back once again. Pressure. Here's a screen set up. This is set up pretty good. Middle screen and going down inside. Bulldog to the 21. Good pass received by Eli Broxman. Well designed. Dalton Garner with the shoe screen. Kevin tackle with coverage. He was first down at the 21. Brandon's got to early run it. Brandon's got to run it different because Brandon's got to run a different route. He got it to number 17 in the first down. Ball at the 22. First and 10 for the Eagles. This is where they fumbled earlier in the first quarter. Option play to the right. That one fakes the pitch. And second effort gets him across the 20 to the 18. First real carry, I guess. That sack's going to go against his numbers. Four on that one, and I think that will be the end of quarter number one. So the Bulldogs have to get off to a good start. That or leading it six No, I'm just, no, I'm, I'm just like, you know. Get up to the line, but they will not get a play on. Go. So after one quarter of play, it is Osborne six. Still nothing. We'll be back in one minute. Thank you. 
Receivers to the right, one to the left. Got Wiley in the shotgun. Motion across the formation. That's just going to be a lead blocker for Gut Waller on the quarterback keeper. And almost had the ball stripped away from him. Gut Waller will spin to the 15. And bring up the third. Short four. Eleven for a first down. Ball sits at the fifteen. First play of quarter number two. Sixty-eight yards. The total offense for Osborne in quarter number one. Pop pass. And that's going to be open on the left side. Ten, five, inside the five, and first and goal. First and goal. Which is that little pop pass. An easy completion. About 13 on the Rocks have been with the third. Rocks have been second. First down for the Eagles at the three yard line. I don't know. They're just going for the ball. So first and goal for the Axel, Axel Eagles. Inside the five. Sets it about the three. The receivers to the right, one to the left. Wally in the gun. Quarterback keeper, and that's in for the touchdown. And we're tied up at six. We ran that play a couple plays ago, bringing the guy in motion. Blocker for the quarterback. In for a three yard for Isaac Bedwell. So we're tied up at six momentarily. They come out and bowl on pick play. Well, Two-point conversion up coming, 10.53 left to play in quarter number two. Tight formation. Got double wings on each side. That one with a little bootleg, throws it back to the end zone. That's complete for an easy two-point pitch and catch. So the next we'll take the lead in the eighth with 10.53 left to go. Two. Back in 30. All right, now here from Osborne where it's 8-6 Osborne with the lead we're trailing by two that's done with the two-point lead if they get the two-point conversion <laughs> 77 total yards yes. for the Eagles in quarter number one yeah both teams moved it in quarter number one both teams got turned away for various reasons traditional fumble for the Eagles a couple fourth downs for the Bulldogs but the Bulldogs forced another fumble Got themselves a first and goal to get their points. Didn't get the two-point conversion. Axel will drive the field. And finally score it with an Isaac Detweiler. Three-yard touchdown run. He would throw it for the two-point conversion. And we have the 8-6 lead. Line drive kick will split the two returners and go into the end zone. Automatic touchback. We'll take over there. What are we going to do? So we get the ball. First down to 15. I got that too. 8 6. Eagles hit the lead. What do we got, first time the Bulldogs okay. have trailed. 10 53 left to go. Quarter okay. number two. We flip the field now. Right no, to left right for right Osborne. Right left to right for the Eagle defense. Like, like I said, there. One new interior lineman, two standing ends for the Eagles. He's head up over gate. It's a shotgun look. Oh, Federer will try on the right side, get three yards. 
what these teams like this quarterback keeper. Bulldogs just had a back on each side of Guttery. They take off at the snap, try to block the middle. Seven. Follows him and tries to find a little bit of a crease. Not much there, but falling for, <laughs> for three yards. What? Same formation, tight end on each side, quarterback and shotgun back on each side. And now option look to the left side, Guttery hesitates just a moment, that's going to allow the defense to pursue and bring him down right at the point of the Pretty, pretty uh, good distance on the left side, pitch man was covered. And Guttery did not have to force that pitch. I want to put that in the air when there's a defender around. Third and five. I hate it. Three Three yards. Third and six. <laughs> yeah, I want to see if he looks to Axel on his goal. No. Better in the shotgun by himself. Counter to the right. That's 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 actually, that's how with the direct snap. He throws it, and it's going to be picked off. And inside the 10, we're going to have a penalty flag. I think spiking the football was the defender that time. Right snap with the foul. They tried a little counter play, and uh, the throw was intercepted. Passed by Hunter Howell is intercepted by Brock. The interception gets the return down to the five, but they're going to move it back. No, yeah, it's kind of it's a little bit of excitement. Spike the football, or can't do that. So I'll move it back to the twenty. The big play was the interception. Just stepped in front. Fifteen-yard penalty assessed against the Eagles. So he came over. Actually, he got started too. It was two fumbles. Now the interception. A couple of fourth down giveaways by Osborne. 923 left to go. Quarter number two. 8 6. Axton. That while they're in the gun. And a little pop pass to the right side. Connor. Turn that one back inside. Turn that one back inside for the rest of the Bulldogs. To pursue that one. Very home on the backside. Maybe even a loss in the yard. Second down, 12 from the 22. Football game. Clock running at 8.55. Second down, 12. One receiver to the left, two to the right. The Weiler in the shotgun with one back behind him. Bulldogs bring some pressure. That Weiler tries to get outside, cannot do it now. We'll just throw the football away. Yeah, nice job by each end. And now a late penalty flag. The ball did not get to the line of scrimmage, I don't believe. No receiver over there. So I think they're going to call right intentional there. ground. It Evan's there. right there. Nope, they're gonna pick it up. They're pointing down a receiver. Brandon went to the so wrong side. Third and one. Third and first. Yeah, third and very, very long. Well. Oh, man. 835 left stray. The Eagles behind the sticks now after a short loss on first down. An incomplete pass on second down. Now they have to come up a little something. It's a good job by yeah. the rushing the ends of the Bulldogs to, to get by their man but not crash inside too quickly and not allow that Wilder to, to scramble out of there like he wanted to. Two receivers to the right, one to the left, straight drop back. That Wilder looks to the right, it's complete and caught and dragging a defender inside the 10 all the way down to the 7 for the first down was best and just Eli was open <laughs> <laughs> using the the there. Yeah, I know. 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 I know
Yeah. Needed 11, Eight. got about six teed on that one. Who's the goal at the six? That's a big play in this football game. Eight twenty-five left to go. It sits up first and goal at about the six. If we're not going to get yes. that one was hot about the twelve. It would have been shy of a first down because he's freaking hurt. That Wilder, same play they scored earlier, and he's going to reach that one across the goal line. Yes, he is. First touchdown, number two. Pretty much the exact same play. This time he cut it back to the right a little. That does score it from six yards out. His second short touchdown run of the game. He got the two-point conversion the first time. We'll see if they do here on the second attempt. 819 left to play in quarter number two. Blast 54 and try to get a screwed up snap or something. He was lined up for the point after. Right into the left. The Adam receiver each side. Now motion puts two over there to the right. And didn't get away. Use this. Let's go. So that's going to be five yards back. I'll make this a little bit tougher. I think the Eagles are going to put it in the air anyway. Get that same look, just a little bit quicker, and see if they can get this one. Right after will be a tip of on Quite the difference in this one. Bulldog scored on that short, short field, giving the football at the two. The Eagles have driven down inside Bulldog territory three times and have scored twice. Option to the left, this is going to be a pass, and yeah, that one's going to take the receiver a little bit too far and out of bounds. Right idea, just a little bit too much on the pass. Quarter number two, we'll be back in the second quarter. Skips at the five. Bulldogs fake the reverse, and it will stay to the right. And there's some room. 15, 15, 15, 15. It just holds a couple of players on one side. What you really, really want is to get them back in the middle and have those two frozen on the other side and have a seam. Let's go, D. They'll take this 20. I always say you might have stepped out of bounds. Yeah, 26. So. First and ten, right to left and here in quarter number two for the Bulldogs. Eight ten. For 11. Two yeah. tight ends. I formation here really for the Bulldogs. They'll counterplay to the left for the second back, and not much there. Eagles defense corrals them and then turns them back in. Good job by the end. <laughs> Austin Lance got about a yard. Four different players have carried in for the Bulldog. They've completed one pass, had one intercepted. Dale, same thing. Pretty much dominated the yeah. first quarter of play, but not so much yardage, but number of plays. I would, say, I would time of possession. I would say the right side's weak now. Only the one touchdown. Two tight ends, I formation. Far side. 
get a second band through, and just not a whole lot there. This actual defense Great is starting stuff. to tighten up a little bit in quarter number two. Yeah, I know he stuffed it. But we have to power right there. Third and six. Got about a yard. Box alert had his leg, but others. You ring that pass. With the assist. Clock running at seven minutes. Down seven. Run this 30. Field all right at the 30 yard line on third and we'll call it eight. One middle interior lineman, two standing ends. Pass, pass for the Bulldogs. Straight drop back. Late throw, and that's going to be intercepted by the Eagles. Second interception. Two no. Bulldog receivers in the area, but Rocksterman was the one that came up with the ball. He had to go and the slips. Another game. He just took over at the 35. Find that play. Trying to throw it between the two receivers. Rocksterman cut the, deal, the difference and River. came up with the interception. Tackled yeah. right away at the 35 of the Eagles, so quite a throw down the field, but. It is Axel yeah. football. Two receivers still left, one to the right. And 640 left to go, first half. That Waller will pop for double screen, got a good block. And that's going to be close to a first down, depending where they say he stepped out of bounds. We'll give him 13. Oh, they're sure with the tackle. Make him move up. Shelby. Yeah. With the reception, we go first down at the 33. Hold on territory once again. Set it at the 32, 33 yard line. Ball on the far side of the field, left hash bar. Yep. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Just flip it to this side here on first and 10. Walla looks to the sideline for the call. Be ready for the same thing. Parrots it out to the right side. No, same. Just same play. Just out to the right. Boxerman makes one man miss. Cuts it back out they to the outside, the inside the 25, down to the 23. Steals so just uh, kind of hurting the themselves crystal. from side to side. Boxman's first catch. It's an eight on that one. Eagles. Seven to ten throwing the football for 87 uh -huh. yards. Same formation, just on the short side of the field, second and short. Well, as Broxham in motion across the formation now. Option look, that was going to turn the corner, and he's got a seam, and he's going to go all the way in for the score. That while I saw that right away, turned the corner, put his foot in the ground, and from there, gets turned on the Jets. Once they really got going in quite a while. That one from all about 18 yards or 21 yards so. I mean, but we, we ought to just consistently get three, four. That Waller's third touchdown of the game. 20 to six. Here's the two point play. It's that quarterback keeper. That water crashes into the goal line and across it. Just does get the ball over, so two we go. conversion is good. 22-6. We'll be back on the floor on the next <laughs> uh, FM 95.5 P. And we got other pages Here's the quarterfinal round of the King. 
Jasper, State. wherever they are, and they make sure the Southford Street class. Arnold, 22, Lyndon Noel, and Braxton Walters. Let's go in quarter number two. Second grade, Mrs. Keyes here is running along. Lauren McCalvey, number one. Walker, that's the chance this guy that came outside. This is man, second grade class. Four out of that first quarter. Andy Callaway, going over the top. Six, nothing lead after one quarter of play. He got hooked back. From there, it's been all the number one team in the state. Isaac Detweiler, three touchdowns. Last one to 21 yards. Two point conversion was good. So 22 to six, 619 left to go. Kick's gonna angle out of bounds. Run your reverse. Bulldogs can't take it where it went out of bounds. Not gonna do that. Move it back five yards and have to kick it Yeah, there's They've had some good returns, getting across the 25 each and every time they've had a chance. They did have one touchback. That while we're lining up at the 25 now. Right. My team left to play in quarter number two. Sure, and how we'd like to return it. No way. Kick will go with the 10. And going down to a knee to catch it. And that's going to be just a little bit of a mistake. How just instinct put that knee down to make the catch as it dropped down right at the end. Down at the 10 yard line. Down at the 10 yard line. the official. Sometimes you're, you're not thinking about that. You're not thinking that that's going to happen, but it did, and the official did catch it. And Hal just knew it when he, since that whistle blew, just one of those tiny mistakes that you just can't have against the number one team in the got? state. 23 games in a row. And they're showing it here in the second quarter. High formation ball on the right hash mark. Uh, they fake the give to the fullback. Got to just going to keep it and follow. And get a nice solid gain out of it uh, across the 15 now, all the way up to the yeah, carry. He might have to go back to the quarterback around. Gives you an extra blocker. It's successful in quarter number he's, one. He's done that over right here twice, and he's gotten this about defense six for right. still There he got nine. Stiffened up a little so bit here in quarter there. number two. A couple of interceptions. <laughs> One middle lineman, two standing ends. Two tight ends. A little counter, and the quarterback keeps it. And again, falls forward to the 25. We're moving him. Kind of gave the look of the fullback track to the right, but kept the football. Gettery takes the ball down to the 25. Stay so got to kind of stem the momentum, and stop the momentum here for Axtell a little bit. 525 left to go in quarter number two. They would love, love to do what they did in quarter number one the first time they had the football. Take it down, use about five minutes of this clock, and punch. Well, they didn't get the score the first quarter, but they moved it down the field. And use all five minutes and get the score. Be a huge point in this football game. Sure's gonna get the five first down. Landon Smith with the tackle. Not just second down for the Bulldogs. And a good first down. It's third and fourth down easier when you need it. And we'll have a second down and five. Upcoming 440 in quarter number two. Looks like Coach Tierden is going to have to use a timeout and does. 4 for 29 left to go in the first half. Axel 22, Osborne 6. We'll be back in one minute with more state playoff action. He's basically going right into them. Mm.
Hey, another thing you could possibly go to is your quarterback. You're all left. Osborne with the football. Where he'd get his hand up and get those guys to drop back. And then he'd take quarterback, you're all left. And then he just drops back, gets that ball up. They drop back a second. All right at the 30 here for a second down. Two linemen right over the center and then a second level wall for the Eagles with four, five other defenders. You just don't know where they're going to bring people, if they're going to bring people. Then we read the play and attack it from there. And we have a third and three upcoming. Third down three for the Bulldogs. What about pro fast? Either way, it's kind of a big conversion. If you give the football away now, it gives Axel plenty of time to go down and score one point before halftime. If you get this first down, Maybe Axel doesn't really get the ball with a chance. Quarterback keeper behind He's that fullback it. play again. I think this is a little bit of an adjustment. Yeah, the the big pullback and then follow it a little bit. First down. Smells it with the tackle. 57 yards. Of the first down at the the third down. Damage in the first quarter. That's first and 10. Right. You move the ball up one yard. It's almost right in the center of the field. First and 10. For the Bulldogs at the 39 yard line. We got two front. clock running. Two man. Two timeouts left for the Bulldogs. Should have plenty of time to get the plays in three. they need. And this is direct snap to Howell with power to the right. It's five. And good. Solid game of four. That's the running out of the carry. Game of four. Actually, through the levels on the interception. It's <laughs> the running play you want to right show first. But Hal gets about four. X, Y, four. He's off to the right side. Right. It is in Eagle territory. The corners came. All Nate's got to do is get by him. Two tights. High formation. Dump Guttery under center. On second down. Fullback trap this time after you fake it a couple times, then try to give it to him. Works for a little bit. Sure gets it right at the 35. Game of two. Cuts the first down yardage needed down to about four. Third and four. Third down four. Third and one for the first down. They'll have plenty of time to get those plays in, but then lock Melvin down all the way down to 215. Guttery in the shotgun. And runs it up to the line, then steps back, wants to throw, and that's going to be complete at the 21 yard line and after a first down. You want to go deep with that play, you're trying to get the linebackers to safety up. But went to the second and down the progression. And got the first down down to the 22 yard line. He got one to 14. Sure, the receiver. Second completed pass. Okay. Got to run a little okay. bubble screen earlier. We're under two minutes. Ball to 22. Two timeouts for the Bulldogs. One receiver to each side. Fullback right behind Guttery. And they fake it to, well, I think they tried to give it to him. The exchange was missed, and a fumble by the Bulldogs picked up by the Eagles. <laughs> it looked like Gunner was just following it, but I think what has actually happened on that play is he was trying to find the football. His exchange wasn't clean, and he has come up with it. Two interceptions, now a fumble. That's the third traditional turnover. 132, let's go in the second quarter. Stetwiler, option to the right side, turns the corner, pitches it late, and knocked out of bounds. ran seven yards back. As soon as he went and moved, Rock, he's got to stay up there. Rockstrom and Nathan go the run out to the 30s, or for a gain of six. To the 31, 37 yards for Brockstrom in here. Got out of bounds at 126. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Oh, 
Wilder, quarterback keeper to the left. Now bounces outside, 35-40, and he'll motor down out of bounds at the 36-yard line. First and 10. Gain of eight. First time in a few carries that Detweiler hasn't scored it. 119. Detweiler with the carry. Plays out of bounds. At the Eagles in Bulldog territory with 119 left to go. I believe the Eagles have all three of their timeouts remaining. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. First and ten. Bulldogs will over pursue on the right side. Detweiler is going to be sacked. He just was great. <laughs> Rush there on the other far side there. Keep down in the backfield for a loss. James Seabreed. And timeout called by the <laughs> Eagles. 110 left to go. Timeout. And second down and long when we come back. We're listening to Kansas State playoffs. We'll be back hey, in 30 seconds. Talk about the screen. That's been 95.5. for screen right now because we just brought everybody. Back here from Osborne, 22 6, Axtell with the lead. They have the football at the Bulldog 37 yard line. 110 left to go, two timeouts, but they're faced with a second and 11 after the quarterback sack. That time, Bulldogs moved some players out to the left, had kind of three on the left side, but it was really the back side, the right side of the Osborne defense that got in to get the sack, and sometimes that's what happens. See it. The line overshifts a little bit to try to protect out there, and leaves a one-on-one. -on -one. Two receivers to the right. B screen. Detweiler in the shotgun. Getting the play from the sideline. Take snaps, straight drop back now and trouble rolls out to the right. It's complete. And making the first person miss a good pursuit from the back end is Dalton Schur to get back and make a tackle down to the 29. Seven. 29 now under 45 seconds when this one's going to be snapped. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. That Weiler snapped behind him a little bit, throws off the timing of the play, and he might have lost the football. And he did, and it's going to be picked up by the Bulldogs. Ball comes late, Bulldogs recovered. This down to the Bulldogs, that's a pretty covered by the Bulldogs. And that's to give the Bulldogs the football to right at their own 30 with 35 seconds left. Let's see how aggressive Osborne is with it. Passing game hasn't had a whole lot of success yet. What'd you call? That one just a little bit off from the beginning. The shotgun snap was a little bit behind. Or maybe that one took off just a touch early and the snap was a little bit behind him and he just had a little bit of trouble corralling it. Option to the left side, late pitch there, but Get out of bounds. good pursuit by the whole Eagle defense. Stop the freaking clock! Stop the clock! Sure will get out of bounds. They might have to put Jeez. a little bit of time left. Let's we'll see if they do. 24 seconds. I'd do it. 22-6. Game of about three after the 33. And we might as well score. If the officials are discussing something, but no. Yep, they're going to tell the Bulldogs to wait just a little bit. Hey, 28 on the clock. Thank you. And they will relay 28 seconds on the clock. Three and a half go back on for the Bulldogs. Got to go down on the play in the huddle. For the Bulldogs. They need one big play to really give them a chance at a shot here. And so two interior linemen 
And actually Axel has three way back in the in the secondary, almost intercepted, but I think the little hand in front. That's intended for Nathan Grohe. Ball is all the way to go the flag. The receiver, but that hand flashed in front, caused it to go incomplete. There was a flag, a legal formation. I don't think someone was set on the line right, or maybe too far off. Might as well move them back <laughs> if you're Axtell. You get the nether down, but really, you're running up against downs against the clock more than anything. So second down and 11, 24 seconds. We'll have to put number one. A long ten. Teams with three turnovers, all three fumbles for in the A gaps, two man. The Eagles. Here's the direct snap to Sure. Breaks one tackle, can't break the second. He's brought down at the 35. And timeout called by Sure with the Jerry. They'll be left with We'll take a 30 second timeout and we'll return back here on Z96.3. Timeout Osborne. What about your pistol gun speed up pass? Release an eight. Three seconds left to go in the first half. Listening to the we state quarterfinals in eight man division two. 96.3, FM 95.5 KNDY is joining us as well. First quarter, the Bulldogs looks pretty good for maybe the upset here. Second quarter, Axtell's kind of showing why they are the number one team in the state. We sit at 22 to 6. Still with the lead, but the Bulldogs with the football. Oh, really? About 16.3 seconds left. See what Osborne comes up with here on second down six, but the main thing is maybe just a couple plays left in the half. Better in the shotgun. Rolls a little bit, throws it down the sideline. One-on-one -on -one opportunity and Making a good attempt at the football, but not quite getting there. Hey, now it's fourth up. Oh, wow. He's going to have a motion. And then when the snap came, had him run up the sideline. Right. play. Defense was there. <clears throat> What's that? Even if they make the catch there, I think the, the safety comes yeah. in and, what you, and just makes the it? play. So now down to 10 seconds. Maybe this play and one more. Bulldogs would have a time on us and need it. Better by himself now. Looks to be just a two man rush and a uh, step from five yards further back. And one of the receivers on the far side took off just a bit early. So now down to still a 10.3. Just move back to the 30. Motion panel against the Bulldogs. That's back to fourth and 10 at the 30. So we'll go with a three man rush, it looks like, here on this down. And actually, got to by himself. We'll just kick it away. So that one will bounce all the way down to the 15. Walking oh, back. Is Detweiler, there's a he flag down. Now two flags. Detweiler down at the 20. <laughs> point one. Just point one second. Yeah, Osborne and of course they use this for the track too. So that's why it's got it. But it's got the point one second on there. Osborne will take the penalty or penalties. Point one. Yeah. We'll move it back inside. Half the distance. What about inside the 10? Probably just fall back where it's at. Down to half 
time. Gets the ball at the nine yard line. That ball there, maybe try to get him out on the edge. The snap goes, didn't get caught, and it goes all the way back down to the four. And so, yeah. A little sloppy by Axel to, to, to finish the first half, but we'll get out of it. And with the first half lead at 22 to 6. But uh, Axel in the second quarter turned things around. The defense really showed up a little bit, caused some turnovers, uh, and then Detweiler did what he does, uh, getting into the end zone three times. And we're at this 22 to six advantage.
now I'm like trying to be quiet. So like, it's like, it's like, they're going to pick up on everything I say. Yeah. We're all up there. Yeah. to High School Football as the 96.3 FM 95.5 KNDY. Casey Broadfoot here from Osborne, 22-6. to That's yeah, with the lead. And uh, three straight touchdowns in the second quarter. Uh, open this up, 22-6 for Axel after Osborne. No, I just wish we got the ball right now. Yeah, me too. 123 total off hits for Osborne. And uh, 30, or excuse me, 6. 106 of that on the ground. They're leading rusher so far. <laughs> or excuse me. Yeah. Is Dope Gutter you with 13 carries for 57 yards. And Connor Schur has 26 yards and the score. That one from one yard out. Two years. I haven't seen a whole lot throwing the football yet, so uh, it's just 17 yards in the passing game for the Osborne Bulldogs. For Axto. 100. In the 63 total yards, 95 of that through the air, and then the rest, 68 of it on the ground. Their leading rusher, Eli. <coughs> excuse me. Eli Broxerman. Excuse me. <laughs> there we go. Eli Broxerman, 37 yards. Uh, Isaac Damo has 31 yards and the three scores. A couple of negative plays that have gone against him, including. That last one where they almost lost the ball on the final snap of the first half, but a couple, a couple negative plays have held him down to 31 yards, but three touchdowns for Isaac Well, 163 to 123 in total offense. Kind of a big possession coming out of the second half. Osborne had it first to start the football game. And Axel will get it first to start the second. They would move it down and score. 30 to six or 28 to six looked pretty tough against the number one team in the state. However, if Osborne is able to get a stop, maybe find a way, force another turnover. There's been three of them already. Pick up another fumble, get a short field, put that into the end zone and make this a one possession football game. Maybe, just maybe Axtell tightens up just a little bit and we'll have ourselves a interesting fourth quarter to this one. Of course, a lot of that to be seen here in the next hour or so. Thank all our sponsors for helping us out with this football game. Can't do it without you, all you listeners at home. Of course. And on this day, November 11th, I thank all the veterans out there on Veterans Day. So, short little thank you to all of them out there listening here at the game. Just about ready to get half number two underway. The White and Kingman, quick first quarter there. Kingman a seven nothing lead over the Bullet Trojans. You can hear that on Katie Country 94. Katie 94.com. So Axel will come from my left to right here in the third quarter. Osborne back right to left. They will kick it away. Who will start this third quarter hot? Osborne doesn't have much room for air left. 
trailing it 22 to 6. It's 7-6 now, Kingman. So Beloit gets on the board, but trails Kingman by one. Early second quarter in that one. 22-6, and we are underway. Short kick will be taken by out back at about the 25, move forward to about the 29-30 yard line. And that's where the Eagles will actually take over. First possession of the second half. Which coach found a little something Or the offense maybe okay. showing the against it. So, yeah. First time we see the out to the right here for the Eagles. Pass. So now I'm move one in motion across the formation. There's just a little screen out to the right. And Oxford just They're going to get us to try to come forward. But he does fall forward, stumble forward, uh, out to the 34-yard line. Wasn't going to be a whole lot to that play either way, but probably could have got a couple more. Five-yard gain, second down five at the 35. Fourth catch, fifth catch for 41 yards for, for Rockerman. Second down and six. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. Sometimes Axel kind of parrots these plays. Let's see if they do it here. No, it's straight drop. And then a little screen out to the left, and that's going to be caught by Bussing. He's going to turn the corner and get to the 30 yard line. Nice job. Just let the defensive end crash in from that side, throw it over his hands. Yeah. One up. Yes, yeah. That's Bussing. Out of bounds by Hunter Howe at the 31. I'm on 14. Yeah, first down. Fast forward. Quickly, two it's plays. Done. Put the Eagles at the 31 yard line of Osborne. <coughs> little pop pass to the right side, turning the corner. Nice seal block. No, oh, nice little hesitation move. It's going to get Axel down to the 20, or to the 16. Will do with the carry. That's a couple of times. First down for the Eagles, 13 yards. All they did was motion the back on that and then tight end throw back. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Three straight plays. Axel first and 10 at the 15. High snap over the head of Detweiler. He's going to have to go back and fall on it. And that puts the Eagles in a little bit of a bind here. Second down. Uh, all the way back to the 20. I was going to say, it's Detweiler, it's getting late uh, and the move it up to uh, get the 27. But Detweiler, lucky to get back on that. Lots of 12. All well, those plays have got to get yeah, Detweiler here. No. He only has 19 yards. Second down, 22. Ball out to the 27 now. Got to get to the five for a first down. Bella rolls to the right, looks back left, has a screen opportunity, and the block nice pushes the play. defender awesome. right into Attaway. the ball carrier. They had two blockers on one guy, and the block put it in. You know, gives credit out there. I think that was Goheed. And uh, let's go. Lance with the big tackle. Excuse me, Dawson Lance with the tackle. Fought through those big two play. Let's go. blockers. Got a little help from the blocker. Check the right. It's actually a loss on the play. So third and one. Two on the play. There were four blockers out there. Twenty-nine yards. He blew that. Four straight completions, but you have the bad snap in the mixed in there. It's third and twenty-nine. That one back to throw, rolls to his right under pressure, throws it complete. That's a great tackle and gets himself to the 15. And he gets that original line of scrimmage. Gain of 19. That one just about with the second tackle. That would have been probably a touchdown to that. Let's go, big stop. 19. Fourth down. Let's see. Inside the 15 yard line. And without the original line of scrimmage. Need the five for a first. 931 left to go. Quarter number three. 
Straight drop for Detweiler. Looks to the right now, throws it back to the left, and that is tipped into the hands of an Axel receiver, and he's going to walk in for the touchdown. Off the hands of a defender for the Bulldogs. Connor Schur just, just about had the interception, but give credit to the Axel receiver there. That was Reddish Melzi. given by Connor Schur. The threat through his fingers into the hands of Evan Dusen. 15-yard touchdown pass. 15-yard touchdown pass. Third catch of the day. First one. That one gets into the end zone. What a turn of events. That one's so close to a, just even knock down. It's Osborne football, but off the defender's hands. Good concentration on the tip drill. And the two-point conversion will pop pass right up the middle of the blessing is good. So that will make it 30 to oh, 6. 9 left to go in quarter number three. In the third quarter. Is that a back-breaking play or is that kind of a rallying cry now for the Bulldog football team? We'll see. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Let's go left. Left. came a big loss on first down with a bad snap a, a short pass that actually lost yardage as well so they went from third and 29 to fourth and 10 and then into the end zone and have a 30 to 6 lead as that one bounces around a little bit, sure gets it up to the 15. 9 13 left to go, third quarter. What, what does that do, momentum wise? Or, or you know, how does that help, e help or hurt each team emotionally here? You're so close, you got your hands on that fourth down play if you're Osborne, but just gonna make the play. Don't cut on first down, he's gonna bounce it outside if he gets by that last defender, Detweiler, another one. In Stay on twelve. It's a gain in nine. Could have been a little bit more there. I couldn't see who it was. If someone chipped him, and just one more time to let him go. Maybe a couple inches higher on the jump. What you call? A little more solid on that tip ball, or maybe it just throws off the concentration of the receiver. Just these little things. And the scoreboard's a little bit lopsided in the direct snap to sure. to the 27. Yeah. 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 Bulldogs pretty, you know, anything can happen in these A-man football games, but pretty much got to have some type of answer here. At 30 to 6. The Bulldogs at 8.20 left to go here in quarter number 3. I was going to say, you can go back to your it hasn't been 23 the trap to be able to read it. sure that they played their season. Forward. Put the ball on the ground, some bad <clears throat> snaps. Some close calls here, but they've been able to survive it and take the 30 to 6 lead. There's another great snap to Lance. I'm trying to use Guttery as a lead blocker on some of these plays. Well, that one. The the it's into the backfield, and that's a loss of two. Like Bessing leading the way on that far side to make the tackle. Lance loses a couple on that one. 30 to 6. Almost cheered it in his voice, wanted the shot. They got it. And Second and 12. Axel with the, with the lead. 
Gives a second back through. Not much there for Lance. And Tesserman makes the tackle or right the original Lance. Because it was the running be under side minutes. It looks like he was trying to pull it. Gotta get back some credits. They traveled pretty well out here. Down to Boomer City. Bleachers are in. They're all lined up up and down the sideline. Which that's a good way to try to try to stay warm anyway. One receiver to the right. Got to fakes the fullback. Now we'll let quarterback draw after it. He's gonna Make one man miss, can't make the second and third. Across the 30 to the 33, cuts what they need in half for the fourth down play. About five or six more. Yeah. Fourth down, 39 yard line for first down. Big play coming up here. I was gonna say, I was gonna say sweet pass. See if they try the hard count. They've got Axtell to, to, to jump just a little bit on one of them, but they yeah. didn't quite get him to go all the way across. The little counter and just some penetration by Axtell's gonna throw the timing of that yes. off and, and they will get some positive yards with the Bulldogs and Guttery, but not enough needed for the first down. Couldn't quite see who got in there for the Eagle defense. But the really under over on just down. that wide on that inside play, and it's not what you needed to do. Ball left on the 36. The Eagles take over after taking over on downs. 602 left to go. Ball in Bulldog territory at the 37. Detweiler takes a snap right up the middle, bounces off one, bounces off two, but the third person comes in to clean it up. Guttery. Guttery on the bottom of the pile. Dalton Carmen there as well. A solid gain on first down for the Eagles. To the 32, 33 yard line. Halfway through quarter number three. All in between the hashes on second down. Weiler in the shotgun. On the option to the left, turns the corner, still keeps the pitch man, kind of fakes it a little bit or a head fake towards that pitch. He gets a few extra yards inside the 20, down to the 17 yard line. He should have that Weiler's best runs of the day. And they had their twins for the time, and they just blocked everybody down. 16, clock running at 510. That Weiler does run that option pretty well, has made the right decision every time. That time, catch pitch discipline a little bit. Get credit to the line back. <laughs> Roxerman that time to stay with it. He just gave Detwater that option. He did a nice little head fake. And got him some extra yards. No step drop after the shotgun snap, but a quick slant to Busing inside the 10 down to the 7. And that's a game. Pitch number 6. And that while there's uh, in a rhythm here. Six completions. Second down two. Four thirty left to go. If Second down to and two. On offense. All in between the hashes. And if it's four. This has been Detweiler territory. Three See if they get that motion man. Three be there. And like then from threes. They use them as a blocker. Not this play. But I mean, Detweiler does keep it. Cuts it back inside and finds himself to the three. Dirt Almost cake. fell forward into the end zone on top of a bulldog. And now they give him forward progress all the way down to the one. A solid first down. That while our first down to the one yard line. One yard line. No, if. Axel has a under center quarterback sneak in their playbook, but we'll see here. They won't use it on first down. Standing about his about the five yard line, heels on the five yard line for the shotgun snap. He'll take it, veer to the right, reaches the ball out, and then second effort gets him in for the score. Fourth rushing touchdown for Detweiler. Everybody kind of knows it's coming. It's a one yard touchdown run. Use everybody else as a blocker. It's just 
hard to stop them from getting those short yardage situations. 36-6, 3.36 left to play in quarter number three. Two-point conversion upcoming. No, I was just saying about the three. Yeah, I mean, something that we're not trying to go deep, we're not trying to go to the flats, but maybe Two receivers on right each side, the but they stand zone. just outside just set up for a three the offensive game. line. They fake the handoff. There's that little rollout pass. And coming across and getting the two-point conversion that time by the Eagles. 42, or excuse me, just a two-pointer. 38 to 6. 3, 38, 6. Let's go. Big quarter number three. We'll be back in one minute. 336 in the third quarter. Osborne 6. Axtell 38. The fan of the game is Betty Parlis. Everybody say hey, hey! All the way! 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 Everybody say hey, hey! Back here yeah. at high school football, I think he was trying six point three to lay out of there. FM ninety five point five P and E Y. Also joining us and Axel's opened up a thirty eight to six lead. Boy, it, it seems like that scoreboard's a little misleading. You want to give Osborne a little bit more credit that will run the reverse to come to this side on this kickoff return. It's been some type of fake every other time that they've been able to run it. They'll get out to the twenty. It's been pretty oh, bro. disciplined defensively. And for the most part, this actual defense it's kind of led the way. Kind of had to. The offense hasn't been. I'm sitting here with 38 points on the board late third quarter, and you're saying maybe a little bit of a struggle for this offense. They've moved the football. That's not the problem. Uh, they've, they've coughed it up three times. That has been a little bit of an issue. But. Uh, when they needed to be good, uh, they've been solid. And they're in a three they're in and they're way lead. inside now. Don't got to will take the snap, try the right side, hey, so not much they there. They everybody in. And now the yes. plugs. They moved up here. Early we said the yellow. Like, Plays like that. Yeah. Exactly what we needed. First possession of the game. Did just that. Three here. Four there. Seven there. Six. You know, eight, whatever it was, move the ball for five minutes down, down, down the field. Just they had their chances, just didn't get the scores. Axtell's made the most of their opportunities. And the defense has been just solid enough for the Eagles here. Sweep out to the left side and breaking one tackle for sure, and he'll get to the 30. And just inside the, the oh, sidelines, sure. just shy of a first down. 38 traps, so sure. With the Four tough side. run there. Gets out to the 30. 30 yard line, game of six. Third and short. 25 left to go in quarter number three. Beloit with a 7 6 lead, or excuse me, Kingman with a 7 6 lead over Beloit. That one early second, last. Okay. Now he's inside. Three linemen tight now he's there inside. in for the Axel defense. The battery rides that fullback handoff and then pulls it at the last second, keeps it himself. We'll get across the 33. Yeah. Finally pulled that out. It would have been close if he gives it to the fullback. I don't know. If probably would have had enough. But got to respect it himself. Picks it up. That's a good call. Picks up more than enough to get that first down. So ball to right hand mark on the first down. One receiver to each side. He just called. Just the fullback with Guttery. They fake it to him. Guttery back to throw. Has some time. Now moves out to his right. Throws it down the sideline. But the receiver had stopped. 
And that one is going to be incomplete. Did it for Hunter Howell, followed incomplete. Hunter Howell, but Howell kind of did what you're taught to do if you don't get the ball thrown to you right away. Try to work your way back towards the quarterback. But Guttery needed to get rid of it. And thought maybe Howell would go back down the sideline, but not this time. 136 left to play in quarter at over three. 38-6. Now they're in two front. Better in the shotgun. One on each side of him. Five. Zone read. Better keeps it. Tries to go back to the right as everything else came back to the left. And yep. That's the defense there. Brocksterman cleans it up. <laughs> Ready. Two yard game. Third down and eight. What'd you call? So a gain of one makes a third and eight. Guttery closing in on 80 yards, unofficially, of course. 38 to 6, one minute left to play. Quarter number three, two down linemen for the Eagles. Go. We got that wall set about five yards back. Option to the left, late pitch by Guttery, but just really, really good disciplined defense. That secondary wall came in and really made the play. And kind of one of the inside guys to take the quarterback. The rest of them are on that running back. And that's no gain for the Bulldogs. Fourth down. Ball will be at the 36. Bulldogs need the other 36 for a first down. Okay. I'm late. Tell the clock right Got to read to her in the shotgun. Might kick it out of this formation here. That's first timeout called by Osborne's. I don't know for sure if they can get a mark here. I don't know what you have. seconds. Let's go in the quarter. We'll finish off quarter good. number three in 30 seconds. Well, there's not a guy on Sam, really. Z96.3 Lake, FM 95.5, and Jason Brockford here from Osborne. Osborne's faced with a big fourth and down. eight. He'd go from the 36 to the 36 for a first down. Be ready for trailing the linebacker to six. And, you know, not great at math, but comebacks seem unlikely at that point. But you know, we've seen some weird stuff happen. I don't know if it's happened against some number one teams, but uh, you know, gotta start it with this play here for the Osborne Bulldogs. Guttery all alone in the shotgun. I've seen him kick out of this a little bit, but uh, and he's gonna fake it and then move over to his right. Throws it deep down the field, has a man in the middle, late defender comes over and knocks it away. So Guttery gave a step and gave like the action like he was going to punt it. They don't do the long the ramps He gave a step like he was going to kick it. And then also pulled back, rolled to his right a little bit. Had a guy close, but just took too, a little bit too long. And defender was there at the last second to knock that away. Maybe the last best chance there for the Bulldogs to get in, get back into it. Two receivers to the right, one to the left for Isaac Detweiler and the Eagles. Two seconds left to go in the quarter. A screen pass to the right side. We'd like to run that on first down here <coughs> a few times. Been pretty productive. Eight of eight. This is quarter number three. That's the end of the quarter. 38 to uh, 6. Axel in the lead. Axel, Back and finish off the fourth quarter after this. You're listening to High School Football on Z96.3 and FM 95.5.
Six point three the leg if it's ninety five point five candy five because they're just going to get through tonight as well. And I know that's the thirty eight to go six on lead it, in, in quarter number four, starting quarter number I mean, four. On one hand, that score seems a little misleading. I mean I mean it's been tough for Axel to get to this thirty eight six lead, but they made the plays way. when they needed to make them and that's Maybe oversimplifying Speed. things a little bit, but that's exactly what's happened here. Detweiler Anytime running the option to the left. Late pitch there. there. Great play by Detweiler and Broxterman. Give Broxterman credit to stay with the play. And he's going to get all Anytime the way inside the five, tens, down to look the four. On our, well, it's Q, but the Detweiler twins are on our side. Running that. They're just blocking. Play. Blocking. Just blocking. Just blocking. Come on. Detweiler actually turned that up. He got a few yards on his own, but... For the most part, Roxham was going to get credit for that one. Twenty five, the first down, those guys down the inside the, the four. That one was a clinic. That one was. That's how you, you put that on film and you teach the kids how to do it that way. Tight end to left. Tyler keeps it himself. Has four already. Looks for five. Goes for the corner. Gets it. But we have a penalty flag down. Back judge saw something he didn't like. Nice toss. Yeah, right. Got that the ball in the ring. Close all the way, way to the pylon in the front corner. Illegal block in the back. Or illegal block against Axel. So takes the points off the board. Pick that Wilder's fifth touchdown off the board for the moment. It's going to move it all the way back down to the back to the 19th. Eleven forty-five left to go in the football game. First and goal from the Only on the left match mark here to start this first and goal from the nineteen after the fifteen yard penalty. One receiver each side, heading into the right. That one straight drop. Has some time. Now we'll scramble out to the right. Calls his receiver over to that side and then just puts that one almost to the track. Not gonna deal with any defenders on that play. I know. Rose not being complete. One of his receivers to come with him on to either. that side. Just gonna get them all over there. That was did the smart thing on first down. Third or fourth down, maybe you take a little bit more of a chance at that play. But with some extra downs left to work with, no need. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. That Waller has one back behind him. Bulldogs show some pressure, they will. Pump fake on the end. That's going to allow the defense to get in and bring that ball down. Second sack, I believe, or third sack of the game. Bulldogs. Sam Kenning in. Hey, Norman. What the names? What the names are? He wanted the little maybe out nut. He's been throwing that out route earlier in the football game. Okay, I was going to say, because he just stayed. Just didn't have enough time for that to develop. Four man rush that time by the Bulldogs. Three yeah, down the screen right here. Brought an extra one. So third and 23. It's coming. Eagles had this situation there. Third, third and 29. Took them two plays, but they got it. That Waller runs the option. This is going to be a pass. And there's a wide open receiver in the backfield for the Bulldogs. That's going to be a touchdown. Detweiler, Schmezzley, Schmezzley, and then uh, over to Brox, Broxterman, and that's going to be a touchdown for the Eagles. Pass complete to 
Rocksterman. Rocksterman's <laughs> doing it about two ways here tonight. Receiving and running the football. That puts him at 60 yards. Catching the football. I'm at 62, rushing the football. 44 6, two point way, Detweiler throws it over the middle, that one tipped at the line of scrimmage and incomplete. So 44 6, 10 yeah, in the fourth quarter. Four and four 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 four. One minute. In 41 in the fourth quarter, Osborne 6, Axtell 44. Z96.3 late, FM 95.5 KNTY. 10.41, let's play in the fourth quarter. 44-6. This one was 6 to nothing. Osborne after one quarter of play. 44 straight points. Low line drive kick to the 5. Sure will keep it. Try to get to the left side. Or to his right side, excuse me. Faked it to the left. We'll get him the 20. Number four. Bulldogs put up a good effort. Uh, I think the scoreboard is a little misleading. There's been some, there's been some plays. Just a play here, play there. That Bulldogs had their hands on a fourth down. Ten pass defensively, but it, you know, still tipped through and deflected right to the receiver who took it in for not only the first down but touchdown. You tip that over yeah. solid, that's incomplete, or maybe even intercepted. One score off the board. Maybe if you're Osborne and you get one of your early chances to go in as well. You know, not six, it's 12 or 14. And things are a little bit tighter, but, uh, you know, what ifs? You know, don't get them back, unfortunately. And, Got we got a short gain on first down. Right now the Bulldogs trail at 44 to 6. Under 10 Back left to play. Three, three down inside. linemen for the Eagles on this second down. And six to go. Got in the shotgun. One back on each side of him. They'll try the right side, but nothing there. Tries to go back to the left. That shut down as well. That's gonna be a loss of a war. No, the safety's playing back. Ali didn't get enough credit so far tonight. He's played a nice game. I shut down that fullback play, or been part of the shutting down that fullback play after the second quarter on. Now they're moving back out. Had to go to something else. Third and long. Gives it to the Ooh, you back here, sure. And he's gonna be close to first down. We'll see. I think they're gonna get it. it to him. 25 to the Sure does get the first down. Referees <laughs> and the team game get set quickly and we're ready to go. Clock running under nine minutes, 44 6. What'd you call? First time Axel's finished a game here in part of the UFC. Tight to the right, two receivers to the left. Guttery had the shotgun and give it to Sh no, the fake it to Sure, good fake, but Guttery's going to find three or four yards to the 35 yard line. No, he's not. Plays good. 
You like these plays in the first part of the football game to move the chains a little bit, give yourself some chances down down in the red zone. The but, uh, at this point, need something to break a little bit more. 44 to 6, the score. Two receivers to the left. Tied into the right. Guttery in the shotgun. Option to the right side. And no, oh, nice little fake by Guttery. And he's going to get forward. Stay on the field. Block. That's enough for a first down there. Very close again on 100. Yeah, all three guys standing back. That ball run the option perfectly with the pitch. About as good as it gets without the pitch for Guttery. Started the, the motion they out there with the pitch. They get on the damn linemen. They're all three of them are standing there. Jump outside made the freaking tackle. Outside. Guttery cut back inside for the first down. Two receivers to the right, tight end to the left. It is to sure, it will go right up the middle. He'll find himself across the 30 to the 29. Good. Just shy of the first. Oh, sure with the carry. Pretty clean game for the most part. Three down one. Axel's had a, had an illegal block, but for not a ton of penalties here tonight. A couple pre-snap stuff here and there, but Humans opened up a 28-6 lead at halftime. Had a ton of in-play penalties, what I'm trying to say. They called pretty evenly down the middle. And, and there was an option play that the Eagles are just all over. They had one guy on the quarterback, they had one on the running back. Guttery got caught between pitching it and keeping it. Had the ball knocked out of his hands and the Eagles come up with it. Turnover number four, two in, two interceptions, two fumbles. Fumble on the fourth down. The Bulldogs. That everyone. Eagles take over first down at their own 31. Well, we 44 6, 644 left to play in quarter number four. Max will just uh, maybe push down some grinding this one <coughs> moving on into the state semifinals. Option to the left for Detweiler. He's going to move it up the field. Late pitch there again for Brocksterman. Brocksterman makes a man miss on the sideline. And he's across the 35 of the Bulldogs down to the 34. Another 15 for Brocksterman. Brocksterman tackled by Connor Schur. Oh, yeah, option pretty efficiently. Wayne Axtell's needed something. That's kind of the play they've gone to. Then when they get to the goal line, it's just that quarterback. Keeper. Some couple screens to get him started every once in a while, but hasn't. I'll try to run one of those bubble screens, and there's a lot of room down the right sideline. I think the Bulldogs wearing out a little bit, maybe a little bit dejected after giving their best shot. On down to the ten. Down to the nine. He might. Big play, running the football. Catching it, getting himself to 100. Great, so just and goal. It's right there. Okay. Six and four left to play. I guess if I still scores, we'll talk about it here. But two to the left, one to the right. That while in the shotgun, four touchdowns on the ground for him. Here's the bubble screen. This one defended well. That's going to be a loss. Um, Not just timing, but you got to put placement on those bubble screens to allow your receiver to move up the field. That one, that was just a good a bit of an adjustment. But uh, for the most part, those plays have worked. And you got to give Detweiler a lot of credit for the timing and placement of that football. Second and goal from the 15. Second and goal from the 15. Detweiler in the shotgun. Deep drop. And throws it over the middle. That's complete. Up the field and in for the score. That's Brocksterman one more time from 15 up. That's the play to Brandon. Brandon Smigel. There we go. 
5'11 left to play. 50 to 6, so I guess here we are. 44 right now. This would make it 46, and that's the scores this two point conversion. We wrap things up. If, if not, might run this last 5'11 off. Two receivers to the left, one to the right, maybe this pop pass. Then Detweiler says, oh, the back judge making this count. And he'll use a timeout. We'll stay here for this one. 50 to 6. I got brought some 99 yards catching the football, two touchdowns unofficially. Be generous, but I just can't. So I'm going to just keep on the ground. Not more time. <laughs> Maybe, maybe the official stats or the stat keeper is a little bit nicer than I am. These cuts, let's see, eight of them for those 99 yards and two touchdowns. That Weiler puts him over 200 yards. We got him at 202. Axel's run the football when they needed to, but for the most part, even though a chilly, cold night, and you know, for their sake, if they want to throw the football, the, the wind stayed away, and of course, stayed dry, and those are the main things, weather-wise, for a football game. But here we go, two-point conversion, 50 to 6, 5-11, possibly to play. This could be the last play of the football game. Detweiler motion across. They fake the, the jet sweep, throw it in the back of the end zone, or the front of the end zone, I should say. And that is complete over the goal line for the two point conversion. And that is the final score of 52 to 6. First six points of the game with Auburn. The here probably two post game breaks here this one and one more and then uh we'll be we'll wrap things up in those two segments and we call it a night here but 52 to 6 actually eagles will move on to the state semi-final round uh last check of the Beloit score on Katie country 94 28 to 6. He jumped out to a lead there. I think that's late in the first half or, or at halftime, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, 52 to 6. Eagles will actually get the win. They stay undefeated. Notch number 24 for them in a row. Like I said, we'll be back in three minutes to start the Factor Autos and Traders and Camper Super Center post game show.